The latest now on that tragedy at Cedar Point, when apart from a coaster called the Top Thrill Dragster, flew off the ride yesterday and hit a park guest, sending her to the hospital. Tonight, we're hearing new accounts from those who saw what happened. Marissa Sines has been following that story and joined us now live from Sandusky with the latest. Marissa, good evening to you. Good evening, Russ. You know, in talking with people who not only witnessed what happened firsthand, but one man who actually helped the injured woman, they all described what happened yesterday as traumatic. It was tragic and very sad. Frightening moments at what was supposed to be a fun day at the amusement park, now ingrained in the minds of those who witnessed the accident firsthand. There was a lot of commotion. A lot of people started screaming and hopping the gates and started running towards the exits, and everybody just started yelling, this woman's hurt, this woman's hurt, this woman's hurt. As people ran from the scene, Bello took off to help. Everybody's running, so I went the other direction to go try and find her. You know, I've been an ER nurse for a long time. You know, I, I got, you know, on the ground with her and just basically did everything I could until Sandusky EMS arrived. According to a statement from the park, around 4.30 yesterday afternoon, a metal object disengaged from the ride, hitting the woman. It's unclear what the object was. So I was there pretty much within... 30 seconds after it happened. Myself and uh, probably four or five that stayed the whole time. Our newsroom did some digging. While deaths and serious injuries are uncommon at Cedar Point, this was not the first time an accident on the top thrill dragster ended in injury. In July 2004, a day of fun ended abruptly for a group of four friends who were pelted by pieces of metal from the coaster's launch cable. One rider had a piece of metal pierce his ear. Another had a piece of metal protruding from his arm, according to the Akron Beacon Journal. Then in August of 2016, two riders were treated for minor injuries when the launch cable Able to detach from the ride. The top thrill dragster was closed the following day while the park investigated the incident. Now that the chaos has subsided, prayers for the woman and her family is all Volo is holding on to. We tried our best. We did our best. Just hope she's okay. That's really it. And we tried our best. We also checked with the Ohio Department of Agriculture, which monitors amusement uh, ride safety. A new law requires that all roller coasters be inspected twice a year. The ride actually passed an inspection back in May and was set for another inspection in September. Three News Investigates did ask for the last five years uh, for of Cedar Point's inspection reports. We have not received them yet. Russ. Russ is silence just outside Cedar Point in Sandusky. Thank you so much.